Mr. Speaker, this whole program is centered around the federal poverty lines. And just for a little bit of uh, context, my district, the median family income is for a family of four is $23,000 and change. That's below the federal poverty line. More, more than half of my constituents are living under the federal poverty guidelines. Now, to put that in, in perspective, the Medicaid expansion, the cutoff is $33,948 for that same family of four. For uh, subsidized child care, it's $48,600. Do those services end up getting cut at that level, Mr. Speaker? Not to my knowledge, no. All right. For free CHIP, $50,444. For the subsidized CHIP, it's $69,984. And let's do a little bit more perspective here. For a member of this house who had four children and his wife was staying at home, taking care of those children, the cutoff is $93,830 for the subsidized CHIP program. Member or his wife, it doesn't matter to me. Any rate. My point is this, Mr. Speaker. More than half of my constituents make less than that $24,600. And when you look at 1,000% more as the cutoff, the people who are making 1,000% more than what my constituents are earning. And Mr. Speaker, I have a question. Will that service be cut off at $24,600? if that person has that money? No, sir, it will not. So I, at a fifth... I, I saw where you were going with this, and yes, the answer is for a legislator who has a non-working spouse and, and uh, four children, we would also be eligible for this program for Medicaid. And one other thing that you want to keep in mind is that for every single person that we consider I guess America considers fairly wealthy, that you're making 246000 and above. For every one of those people that do not pay a small portion, that's one less person, poor person, we would say, that's not going to be receiving benefits. Actually, that goes right with what President Barack Obama stated. He says, every rich person who doesn't pay a small copay keeps a poor person from receiving benefits. And to hear these arguments Please. on the other side. Sir, are you still with interrogation? I don't want to use up your time. All right. To the question, or to the amendment. Mr. Speaker, on the bill. Mr. Speaker, yes, I've on heard the bill. an awful lot of arguments today for people defending the possibility or defending against somebody having to pay a $50 copay who's making $250,000 a year. And with that $50 copay, they're going to be receiving every bit of the same benefits as everybody else who doesn't have to pay. Now, I have a hard time figuring out how you're justifying what essentially is a cable bill payment for somebody who's making $250,000 a year, an argument against them making at least that much of a payment. Mr. Speaker, for, for once, I really have to agree with President Obama. These people should have to pay at least something. $50 is what it starts out as. Come on, people, let's be real here. Who are you defending against having to have $50 taken out of their pay in order to pay when they're bringing home $12,000? I have people that don't bring home that much in a year. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.